So in this video, um, we have the basic setup of everything, so we need to create the user interface of this. So let's start with the HTML of this. Now, uh, behind the scenes, I did start on this a bit. Um, and I am using uh, the shark code API from, from WordPress to create it. Uh, it's very simple. It's just something that looks like this. I already did this. You can feel free to go get it. Um, and what I did is I made a short code because um, I think this is the easiest way. Now, of course, you can put the, the same code within a template um, and, or within a widget, whatever you want to do. But I think for this purpose of the demo, a short code really does justice. Let's go ahead and look at this. And this is just a view and it's right in here. If I go and head in a spec element, you can see that the ID is bed search, and it just says bed search, just as this does. So let's start by creating a form. So we first have to create a form, and we're going to have to create some inputs. Actually, you know what, it's a select. And um, the select, we're now going to have some options. Now, for the time being, I'm just going to put option one, option two, and then we'll put the actual options that we need um, in a second. Let's just make sure our form looks nice. And let's also put a button, type submit. We're going to call this search. Let's see how this looks. Cool. It's not going to look too pretty because we're just using the uh, standard theme, but we also don't need it to. Now let's go back over here and let's look at our options that we uh, want to do. Go back to our custom fields. Let's close the inspect element. So we're going to have three different ones. So you're going to have two selects and then a, a checkbox. Let's go ahead and look at type. So let's put a label on this. And we're going to put bed type. Our select options. We have no base. And we also have to add some values to this. So let's call this a value of no. We just want to match exactly what the raw data will look like behind the scenes. Platform two and let's do value of four. Now let's call this an ID of bed, bed type with a name of bed type. And one last thing, we're going to do a for bed type, and this goes along with this ID. Let's make sure this looks pretty. You can see we have a select, a little bed type. By the way, the label, when you select this, when you have the ID in here in the four, it'll make it so when you click the label, it'll select that. It's kind of a nice little uh, thing, makes it convenient. Now we get to do the same thing for bed size. Let's go ahead and get our sizes.
135. Cool. And we have one more, which is a checkbox. So let's go ahead and create a label. We're going to call it has pocket. Or I guess uh, with pocket. And we're going to do an input type of checkbox. I want to call this name with pocket. And let's go ahead and give it an ID as well. Let's call it with pocket. And we're going to call this for with pocket. Make it look a little bit prettier. Let's go ahead and see what our form looks like. So it looks like we can select things with a little search button. Now, of course, I would spend a little bit more time on this uh, if I was doing this uh, more professionally um, rather than just making it for our video. I uh, would put some styles in it, blah, blah, blah. Um, now we want to add um, a few things just so it's a standard. We actually don't have to give it anything in the action, but we do need to have that. Well, we'll do a get. Um, this is just more compliant. If like you were to fill out this form, you want to be able to return something. Since we're using Ajax, we don't really have that as much. But let's go ahead and start on this. Now, we now need to um, include some JavaScript, and the JavaScript portion of this will be the next part um, of this tutorial in the next video. Um, that does require a bit more setup. We're going to have to include the JavaScript as part of this plugin. We're going to load it in, load it in, and do some jQuery um, to make some calls. Um, after that, we're going to have to actually go and read the data from our database using some Ajax. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. Bye.